must make you suffer. Let everyone go. Where are you? Rise from the ashes. Good afternoon, Kelly. How are you? Hi, I'm good. How are you? I'm doing good. Thanks for joining Oh my joining goodness, us. there I am. Yeah, I know. <laughs> there I am behind you. That looks so scary. <laughs> I, I know. I was looking through some photos today. I'm like, wow, that's just, that's intense. You know, it just kind of matches your, matches your, uh, your on-screen personality too. Just an intense action driven character. So uh, thank you today for joining me to talk about Fortress Cyberside. This is a completion of a trilogy, right? Yes. So um, I think it ends up being an anthology. So yes, it is a series and um, we had filmed two of them already. And I think last time we left Kate was the battle at the waterfall, I like to call it, you know, in the stream, you know? <laughs> yeah. And, yeah. And that just Super looked, I was gonna say that looked like a real difficult uh, shoot because you know of the elements and everything like that. Can you tell us about last time we saw Kate? Yes, yeah, so you're exactly right. It was um, one of these shoots that ended up being, you know, it's getting late in the day and it started raining. And the only time that we had allotted for this entire scene, which was a really big fight scene, was right then. And, you know, the director just kind of said, all right, guys, like it's now or never. <laughs> you know, are you up for it? We don't have a lot of time. And it started raining and we're just going to have to do it. And everyone's like, yeah, we're in. So we jumped in, just everybody all at once, like all the cameras, all the angles, you know, all, all the cast and, you know, no stunt no stunt doubles at all. I mean, I always do my own stunts, but for everybody in that scene. And so, yeah, it was it was a really intense scene. I definitely walked away with a couple of bruises and some bleeding happening, but <laughs> it was so fun. Well, for this installment of this anthology, you know, Kate's family comes to visit and we also find out she has a sister, Zoe, and her character without giving any spoilers, she ends up becoming like a John McClane kind of character, doesn't she? Um, yeah, so you're saying Zoe when she yes. arrived? Yeah, when she yeah, arrived, she was like, a, she was like uh, kind of like a mole, right? She was, you know, she was like a whole, a whole vibe <laughs> and a whole piece of work. And it was actually fun to watch her um, character develop and yeah, just add a whole never, another level of dimension to this, the plot. Yeah, I, I think one of the characters in the movie too is the location. Where do they shoot this? I mean, you're in jungles, you're in just a, such an exotic area. It just looked real incredible. It really was. Um, it was in Puerto Rico. I loved filming in Puerto Rico. Everything from the scenery to the sunshine and the ocean. I mean, if I'm near a warm ocean, it is like my happy place anyway. So if I had a moment off, I was just like, take me to the beach. And um, yeah, the, the crew and everybody that was there was just super helpful and um, very professional and so friendly. And I really, really enjoyed Puerto Rico. And if you've seen the other two films, you know, I, there's a lot of spoilers in this one, so I'm not going to give those away. Uh, uh, but your scene where you're behind me. You know, I always wonder when they do duct tape in movies, was it movie magic or, you know, I've heard sometimes it's the real deal. Uh, yeah, no, I mean, most of the time, especially when you're doing stunt work and especially when you're doing it, um, you know, how these ended up being as far as, you know, there were so many changes with, I think, kind of the new health protocols and those kinds of things where there's a lot of tension, a lot of, you know, let's do this as fast as we can. Let's cram so much into a short period of time because you never know when someone's going to get sick and shut down the whole production for, you know, weeks and weeks. And so, um, you know, everybody was sort of like more on edge and there was a lot more of like a kind of impetus on making sure that you were on point and, you know, scenes were shortened as much as possible as far as like time. So, um, there was a lot, yeah, it was real, it was intense. And when you're doing your own stunts, especially, like you definitely feel it. I mean, I end up, like I said, <laughs> I walk away knowing that I did that, knowing that I did that scene. And yeah, for this, it was it was not comfortable, shall we say. Well, I would say doing your own stunts, you'd had to have a, a really good relationship with the director. Tell me about working with Josh and his style. Josh was amazing to work with, actually. I thoroughly enjoyed that. He's. Um, he was very multidimensional and he could see the big picture. And, you know, in the midst of, you know, what was a very intense shoot, he really kept his cool and he directed so well. Like he definitely knew what he was doing and did it with just, you know, just grace and effectiveness. So yeah, it was great to watch. And finally today, Kelly, you know, I, I saw your, your touching tribute to Bruce Willis on your Instagram. That was so sweet. And watching him in this film, all I could think of was like, yeah, look at this movie star. You know, that's what, all I could think of, you know. So he's such such an icon. And uh, I just really, I, I really was touched by what you wrote about him on your Instagram. 
Yeah. And I, I mean, I think it's real, you know, and it's a beautiful time for him. And I think that's kind of how it needs to be framed is, you know, maybe he, he saw the end was in sight and he wanted to just kind of finish strong and really do a great job on a few more films. And I was really honored and privileged to be able to work with him and to be able to get to know him as the human and just not this huge, you know, icon of the big screen, but just in real life was a privilege. He's a really beautiful person. And I think so often when people, you know, get older or closer to retirement or whatever the dynamic is, when they, um, you see their soul shine through, right? And people get more authentically beautiful or the other way around. And so it was beautiful to see that in him. Kelly, congratulations on a wonderful thriller. It's such a joy to talk to you. I wish you the best of luck with Fortress Sniper's Eye and let's talk again soon. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs>